Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course Cross Watchers. Welcome to your June 2021 reading. I hope you're all doing well. Before we get started, I want to quickly remind you that if this reading does resonate with you, I am doing extended readings again for videos where I sense that additional guidance may be insightful. So if there is an extended reading for this video, you'll be able to find the link to that in the description box below, as well as what specifically is included in that extended reading. I also want to remind you that all readings are general readings, so not all of the messages may resonate. If they do, then that's wonderful. However, if they don't, please simply take what does resonate and leave the rest. Also, be sure to check out the readings for your other signs or the signs of the person on your mind as they may provide additional insight and guidance. Lastly, I want to remind you that because I am simply reading energies, I could be talking about you or your person, so please feel free to swap the roles. So first, we'll draw a few oracle cards to grab the overall theme and energy for the month, then we'll use tarot to dive in and see what is really going on. Everything else you need to know about this reading and the extended reading can be found in the description box below, so let's finally get started here. All right, Pisces, so we have Solitude, which is equivalent to the Hermit in the typical Rider Waite deck, Spiritual Union, which is equivalent to the Two of Cups. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn maybe you have some capricorn in your chart or your person does and then learn through this and i definitely did not expect for two cards to pop out in the beginning i'm feeling like there was a separation here or at least a break a timeout between you and a person and i'm i'm sensing that it was very difficult for you and I just feel this energy of coming back together here and realizing that this connection is safe. You could be dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate, but that's not necessary. But I'm definitely feeling that energy and I, I'm feeling like there are a lot of lessons involved in this connection and a lot of growth and just transformative energy. So that's what I'm getting so far. I do want to pull the overall spread here. for my Pisces. Just give it a quick shot. Everything is pre-shuffled though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ace of Wands. We'll start there. Yeah, someone, I'm feeling someone's coming in for you this month, Pisces. Nine of Swords, the Sun, in the reverse, Leo energy, the Devil, Capricorn energy once again, Page of Swords representing you over here. So you are, you're really looking at this, you're curious about this person, the situation, Justice Libra energy. Oh my gosh, Pisces. I'm loving this energy. I'm loving this. So with the Ace of Wands representing the current energy, the Ace of Wands is about potential and initiation. Think about lighting a match and you have this flame, okay? That flame is energy, and it's up to you what you will do with it. Will you use it for warmth? Will you use it for light to burn other people? I'm not sensing that anyone's trying to burn anyone here. Actually, quite the opposite. But my point here is that this Ace of Wands energy really opens these doors for opportunity and potential for things to happen. You know, action-based opportunities someone wants to take action towards you but there is some anxiety here with the nine of swords it's in the block position so this could be what is holding someone back from stepping forward and i'm feeling that it is your person here with this devil card 
And once again, that is Capricorn energy. But we are going to have to clarify this to really, you know, dig deeper in. But in the past, there was a sense of feeling unhappy and maybe even a bit pessimistic about a situation with the sun in the reverse. Maybe things were good, but they weren't great, or at least they weren't where you wanted them to be. Again, for some of you, there may have been a separation, and maybe for some of you, there wasn't. I'm sensing that if there was a separation, I mean, either way, I do feel like you were spending more time in solitude or at least, you know, with yourself a bit more, okay? And you may have been feeling a bit depressed or just really down about this situation, you know, whatever it is that happened between you and this person. Once again, we're going to have to, to dig deep into that. But something did happen here between the two of you that did have a negative impact, is what I'm sensing. It could have been an actual event, or it could be like a mindset, or just things kind of creeping up on you on night, you know, about the future where this is going. But with the Page of Swords representing you currently, you are curious, you are open to talking to this person, and maybe you already are for some of you, you may be keeping your eyes on this person too on social media as well. Uh, and if you aren't talking to them, you're curious about what will come of this situation because in your gut, I'm just sensing that you know there's this opportunity for you to come together for them to step forward. So whatever this opportunity for action is, if you two are talking, it's about taking something you know to the next level, coming in and initiating something new that is currently not happening at the moment okay so, so something new being brought in and this could be like i said someone coming back in from this solitude energy with justice in the near future truth will be revealed and justice is going to be brought to this situation and i feel that it's through wisdom and finally ending this tough cycle that you've been dealing with i'm feeling connecting again with this person authentically i'm also sensing a lot of sexual energy and chemistry between you and this person remember you know feel free to swap the roles here but i'm sensing that someone is really they're having a lot of anxiety about initiating something, bringing new energy into this connection. But they're learning here and there is going to be resolution. There may be some fears here around love, but it does look like this person is going to go for it anyway with this justice card. So let's get into this. Let's start clarifying and really take this apart and see what's going on. So I did turn all these over just so that the board doesn't get too overwhelming. However, you guys did see me draw all these. It's just there for transparency, of course. So let's take a look at this current situation, this Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Five of Swords in the reverse. Someone wants to come in and reconcile here is what I'm really feeling. Someone wants to take this leap of faith towards, I'm just sensing like a renewal here. Someone may be coming in with an apology. I wanna draw some oracle cards here because with the two of swords, someone is seeing things only in their one way, they're not seeing things from different angles or perspectives okay but they do want to come in here but i'm sensing that because this person 
is only seeing things in one way. This is what's triggering this Nine of Swords anxiety. So let's pull an Oracle card here because I am picking up so much. This person wants to come in here and offer an apology is what I'm feeling. They want to work on things. They want to communicate. And there was this breakthrough within them that they do want to come in and compromise, okay? Because when the Five of Swords is upright, this is there may have been conflict between you two, whether that's, you know, internal conflict or maybe there was some sort of, you know, argument going on here verbally or, you know, whatever happens, um, you know how it applies to your life. But I just feel like this person is having anxiety. I'm, I'm sensing like a fear of rejection here. Like they feel like they are going to be rejected. You aren't going to reject them. At least that's not how it looks. But there are these fears because they're seeing things in one way. They're kind of like ruminating over and over about something. This person has some anxiety issues for sure. But there is this breakthrough that they do want to come in and work on things with you. But it's almost like they are doubting themselves. Here, okay, this flew out. I don't know if that showed on camera, but sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. They want to work on this. They want to come in. And I have a feeling, Pisces, because you guys are so intuitive. You might have this like gut feeling. Like one day you just started to feel like this person was thinking of you or that just this feeling of unfinished business that this person was going to reach out. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. This person loves you, Pisces, or at the very least, they, they don't want to let you go here. But they're feeling very conflicted because it's... Let's take a look at this here. Nine of Swords. And then we had Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have Hammer here, so like working on it, right? This is upright. And here, you see he's holding a hammer. But this is in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse and Wheel of Fortune upright. Sagittarius energy. And we also have some Scorpio out here. Wow. This person feels guilty that they did not put effort in the past. They feel like they were not like awake. Like they didn't see things the way that they do now. So this is strange because they're having some realizations, but they're stuck in their head and only seeing it in one way that you may not take them back here, that they're not good enough. I feel like this person, they feel horrible about this. I'm not justifying it. I'm just reading the cards, but they, they didn't treat you the way that you deserve to be treated here, Pisces. They were not putting in the effort. And this was a bad judgment call. Okay, because they didn't have that inner awakening because this is judgment upright. This is about a wake up call and renewal and that didn't happen. And it could have been because, you know, time ran out here. Maybe you walked away or something ended because this person wasn't treating you the way that you deserved to be treated. So their block is technically how they treated you in the past and feeling guilty and even ashamed of that. Girl with a snake, empath and nurses of paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. This person could have been, this is like my toxic card. So you may be feeling like this person took advantage of you in a way took advantage of your heart, your mind, maybe for some of you, your body, okay? You were very patient and kind to this person and you felt like they just, they weren't, 
treating you right here. Take a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing hand gambling. So for some of you, this person, they might have not really ever opened up to you about how they really felt, you know? They kept a lot to themselves. There may have been some secrets here. And I'm feeling self-sabotage. Like this person was afraid of being vulnerable. For some of you, this person may have not wanted commitment and they did have options here. So they may have been kind of gambling with your heart. I don't know why I got that, but they're being risky. They weren't really having like a, a straight line of thought here. They were just being reckless here. And now there was this wake up this that they messed up here and it's going to be different for all of you like i said take what resonates and leave the rest because for some of you this could have just been this person not putting in the effort and not taking you seriously and for others of you this could have been someone ha you know just wanting to keep their options open maybe for some of you this person did stray for some of you this person could have been a bit narcissistic that's what I'm getting here. But this is very fear-based. Like they didn't want to acknowledge what was right in front of them. And you know, the treasure that you are Pisces, the sun in the reverse, two of pentacles, five of wands in the reverse, five of cups in the reverse. So this person has been thinking about this for a while. Or at least, you know, this could be for a while or maybe this was in the recent past. But this energy for this person to come in and mend things with you didn't happen just now. It's been there for a while. They've been going back and forth and five of wands. They want to come in and work on things. And five of cups in the reverse, this is no longer looking at the glass half empty but half full instead and wanting to see if there's you know because there are still two cups here even though three cups are lost so this person is going back and forth this person is not happy either and you may have been trying to move on as well and wondering well should I stay should I go but I feel like for most of you you just tried to move on here but this person has been thinking about because they're not happy but there is this sadness within them about how they treated you. And they're wondering, they've been thinking about this, like I said, for a while about coming in. And gambling as well, not in a bad way this time, but taking a chance. And they also feel like with this card, because there's boundaries here too, they might be feeling like you're just going to have your guard up and boundaries set that you won't really give them the time of day. But they want to take this chance here to come in and fix this situation with you. And that's been on their mind for a while. But they weren't actually taking action. That potential is there and now it looks like they're going to be they're going to be acting on this finally. Unconditional love, self-love, one is passion, affection, attraction. Again, this person, I feel like they're realizing the love that they have for you. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. And like I said, they feel guilty if they did love bomb you. If they did, remember when I said they weren't really putting in the effort. They weren't giving you what it is that you needed. It, was, it felt very one-sided to you. Is what I'm really sensing here and now they're realizing that they want to come in that you know there really is this love for you here absence makes the heart grow fonder sometimes let's check out your person or the devil sorry this this was this way you guys can go check but I remember 
Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. And especially with this Five of Wands in the reverse, this person is afraid of being rejected. There's something with their ego going on here, but there is, oops, a lot of fear here. And they don't think you are going to accept their cup here, which is, it's almost this line of thinking like, well, just doubting themselves and thinking that they're just going to get rejected here. This person is actually being really hard on themselves about what happened. So, yep, separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So if there was a separation here, this person thinks you could be an earth sign. You could have some earth in your chart, but that's not necessary. But they're not reaching out. Page of Pentacles in the reverse is like this very scattered energy, like unsure of how to move ahead. And it's because their fears, like we said, and we saw the devil, it's really getting to them. They don't think that you are going to accept this cup sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of future they don't know what is going to happen here and even if there wasn't an actual separation and you two are just spending some time apart it's like they're unsure of how this is gonna go it's like they don't want to face the music <laughs> and it's keeping them in this four of cups state as well but this is more about you know, you here, they're, they're really not sure if you're going to accept this cup. And it, it's, there's a lot of fears and it could be putting them into feeling like, you know, this, this self-sabotage type energy. The runner, runner in codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego, like I said, like there's something about their ego. They need to to drop this ego and just take a shot and know it, it like taking accountability for what they did in the past and knowing that you know just being like well i really care about this person i want to prove it to them i'm going to give it my best shot who cares if i get rejected at least i know i tried and i've really put in the effort because this person if they think that you might just run from this but i'm sensing that this person could have ran in the past here and they feel really bad about that but they're listening to their ego here there could have been these like on and off games like i said you could be dealing with a twin flame so if you are dealing with a twin flame this could be your twin flame wanting to come back in because they miss you and you know twin flame separations this happens you know it's a cycle where they didn't accept your cup before. And for some of you, this person could have ran to a karmic in the past. Literally getting chills, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. I need to get better light in here, but... Um, this some The separation really clicked for them. Like something happened this time around this time apart and they're contemplating it they're thinking about this because they want to reach out they want to come towards you and page of swords six of swords knight of pentacles in the reverse the star aquarius energy here i mean you want to go to better waters here you may have been trying to transition, you know, a personal transition, moving on with your life and so forth. But I think what this is really trying to say is you are curious about this person. You have a lot of love for this person. And if you know that you're in a twin flame situation, you know that they are a runner and that they, they are most likely going to come back. You may be wondering what's going on with them in a karmic if they are with a karmic. And you want to get on this boat with this person and head towards better waters, you know, a better life. But at the same time, 
you're aware that this person, Knight of Pentacles in, in the reverse, I mean, upright, this is the slowest knight in the deck. And when it's in the reverse, he's not even on the horse. It's almost this sense of waiting on someone. But I feel more so like an active waiting. You know, you're doing your own thing. You're focusing on you. But you have this gut feeling that they're going to come back around because with the star, you acknowledge this as a very spiritual and even sacred connection. And you want healing here. So I feel like you've been really, really patient. It's almost like this, this sense of wondering where this person is at, but you're feeling that they are going to come back around here. And this is hope as well with the star. You are feeling very hopeful. Like I said, I think you are very intuitive and you may even have some psychic abilities here that this person isn't too far from you energetically. Like you, you feel their presence. And you may be feeling a little bit internally stuck as well on this person. addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block. You know that this person has a block that they're dealing with. You know that they're learning through this. And I think, Pisces, you know that you gave so much to this person that they hadn't had before. You may be, this is just for some of you, you know, the, a chaser in a connection, or you felt like you were in this twin flame if they were the runner. Okay, and you may just feel very, you feel this energetic cord, this tie to this person that it's almost like even if you were to move on, you would still be thinking about them. But you know that this person has a block here. Maybe for some of you, this person could be dealing with addictions, but You want healing in this connection and you are acknowledging the sacred connection between this person and you are being patient is what I'm sensing and you are hopeful for healing here. But Page of Wands, sorry, Page of Swords, Page of Swords is a student. So he's or she, you know, I'm just reading the energy, is very curious they're a student. They're looking at things from different sides and angles. You may have really taken apart this connection, like really looking at it. But with justice here in the near future, six of pentacles, eight of swords, and the fool, Aquarian energy and Uranus energy, this person's coming in. And justice is going to happen in this in this connection with the six of pentacles this is an equal give and take okay so i feel that there's going to be communication here and with the eight of swords and the fool this is going towards something despite any anxiety or negative thoughts and just going for it as the fool taking this leap of faith despite these fears, which I think this is what your person is doing. They're coming in despite this anxiety and they're going for it because they want to take a leap of faith here. Oops, and I think that's beautiful. Let's pull an oracle here. Heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Yes, so there's a lot of anxiety here, but this person is going for it anyway. And right now, throughout this month, if you haven't heard from this person yet, they are really thinking about taking that opportunity. They want to go for it. They've been thinking about it for a while. That potential is still there, and they're going to take a leap of faith here with anxiety and all and, and, and come in here. And they might want to meet up with you. They might want to talk to you. They might call you, text you. But they want to move forward with you after this period of 
being apart. And it does say, you know, it is safe for you to love. And this was a tough cycle that is finally closing for you, Pisces. This is beautiful energy. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. This person might come in a little flirty here or, you know, with this equal give and take, I feel like there is going to be a lot of like happiness and lighthearted energy coming in between you two. Like I was saying in the beginning, I was feeling a lot of strong sexual chemistry here. I definitely was feeling that. And I'm feeling like you have a very strong mental connection with this person as well. So it's like you're mentally stimulated. And I just feel like going for what you want despite the fears. Like being afraid and doing it anyway. And that is what being brave is all about. I'm surprised we can get this strange card out here honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so maybe you will spend some upcoming holidays together or it could be around that time when this person comes in or this is just gonna be like when you see this person a weekend you know spending time together and just having feeling like you are in that honeymoon stage this beautiful renewal with this person I love this Pisces. This is a beautiful reading. I'm so happy for you guys. And we do have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy at the bottom of the deck. This is beautiful. So that's what I'm really getting for you Pisces. So we definitely have to do an extended for this one. This was such a beautiful reading. How can I say no to that? Um, and I'm sensing that many of you may appreciate some extra guidance here, especially if you are feeling that this is a twin flame connection, because dealing with that dynamic can be very difficult, okay? It can be very emotionally draining, very stressful. So we're definitely going to see, you know, what guidance, you know, additional guidance we can get for you here. So in the extended, we are going to dive deep into this person's feelings and intentions for you with them, you know, coming back in. It does look like they've been thinking about this for a while, but, you know, let's see how they really feel deep down. We're going to take a look at the potential long term. So it does look like you two are going to be getting together here and it's going to be beautiful with this honeymoon, this flirt welcoming love getting together but we are going to take a look at beyond that you know um you know could this person run away again we never know I, that might come up but we're not going to make those assumptions of course because to be honest with you i am feeling that this person especially since they've been thinking about this for so long i feel stability here we are also going to take a look at some guidance and advice for you so that you can effectively navigate this situation and really take control in the ways that you can around really creating your destiny, you know, because that power lies within your hands. So we are going to take a look at, you know, some guidance and advice. And then to close out the extended, we are going to pull a monthly affirmation for you for the month of June 2021. So if you would like to join me over at the extended, the link for that is in the description box below. I want to let you guys know that when you do get the extended, it should take you directly to the extended. However, if it doesn't or if for some reason you do lose the link to it, it is going to be sent to your email within 10 minutes of the purchase. So just know that it's going to be there. And if not, feel free to you know email me and I will help you 
get to that extended. I do check my email quite often, so I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But yeah, always check your email just in case and your spam folder as well if you happen to have any issues accessing it. But yeah, I really hope to see you guys over at the extended. And if not, then I really hope that this reading was able to provide you with some helpful insight. If this reading did resonate for you, please comment below and let me know how it did. I always read all my comments and would love to know how this reading fits into your life. Also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And of course, don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified when I post new readings. Lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support. It is appreciated more than you will ever know, whether you are new here or a returning subscriber. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, that's all I have for you for now. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye.